We respect and regret the decision of the government of Ukraine of late November not to sign. But the future of our relations is for the long term. We can't let that be compromised by short-term calculations, by outside pressure. It must be a free choice. To my mind, the future of Ukraine lies with Europe. One can try to slow it down, to block it, but in the end, no one can prevent it. East and in Central Africa. But the most... Ce matin, le président François Hollande a partagé les dernières informations sur les opérations en cours. C'est la deuxième fois en l'espace d'une année que la France courageusement prend l'initiative face à une grave crise. La réponse française en Centrafrique a permis d'éviter le désastre d'une guerre civile, voire même peut-être un génocide. Et je souhaite à ce titre rendre hommage à la France et au président de la République. L'Union européenne soutient évidemment cet effort militaire avec une contribution de 50 millions d'euros à la mission africaine de maintien de la paix et 60 millions d'euros sous forme d'aide humanitaire pour un peuple qui souffre. On the table. We are willing to sign. From January, the new EU funds for 2014-2020 will be available, including for the Youth Employment Initiative. And in the past year, we have mobilized all possible levers to spur the recovery forward. And thanks to this and all national efforts, I am convinced that 2014 will be a better year. I would like to welcome the address of the President of the European Commission. Only two months ago, we faced one of the worst humanitarian tragedies in the Mediterranean in recent times, with 350 people perishing off the coast of Lampedusa. I was there, and we did not forget what happened. Through our dedicated task force, we have worked out together a comprehensive, balanced, practical strategy to respond to this urgent, complex situation. We have recommended 38 concrete actions. Of late November, not to sign. Allow me just to highlight three priorities. First, in terms of relations with third countries, such as Libya, Egypt, Algeria, Lebanon, we need to address the causes of migration and the fight against trafficking, smuggling and organized crime. Second, we need to better manage our sea borders with a reinforced Frontex. Thirdly, we need to increase our solidarity in terms of resettlement and helping member states under heavy pressure. The future of Ukraine lies with Europe. The continuing protests and demonstrations in the country show clearly where the Ukrainian people stand. They want freedom, they want prosperity, they want stability. The European Union has also stated very clearly, and myself personally, in those conversations with President Yanukovych, that the current tensions in the country need to be resolved politically, in dialogue with the opposition, and that the civil liberties need to be fully respected. It abundantly clear that the European Union's agreements... The situation is not improving. It is indeed deteriorating in a dramatic way. We continue, as the European Union, to spearhead the international efforts on humanitarian aid, over 2 billion euros since the crisis began. But the scale of the needs is outpacing our efforts. We need, therefore, to call on other donors to step up their assistance already in the Kuwait conference that will take place next January and to keep the pressure for a political solution which will be the only lasting way forward. I would now like to invite President Grybauskaite. We were able to reflect during these uh, four and a half months, really, because summer break was, on four major groups of uh, responsibilities which uh, fall on our presidency. The first group related uh, to the practically more than 60 legislative acts to negotiate between European uh, uh, Member States and European Parliament on uh, seven years European budget. This, the load which was very specific for our presidency and practically uh, all of it is done, only two are left uh, for next presidency. Charting together a course 
for their own country. Second uh, part, uh, which I think we were managed well and achieved a lot, it is the banking union. Uh, final uh, agreements have been made just uh, two days ago. The third uh, package uh, was related with economic growth and uh, digital market and competitiveness of Europe, where we emphasized digital economy, uh, uh, digital uh, uh, social dimension, energy market, where achievements also have been uh, quite uh, impressive. Agenda. We spoke about asylum and migration. Fourth part uh, where we uh, were investing our efforts, it was external relations, including Eastern Partnership Program, where after Vilnius we think we have more clarity, more understanding uh, about the uh, future of this uh, program and our partners, and also that uh, we are really have less illusions, more reality uh, about uh, our relations and about the uh, future of uh, this uh, region. And of course, I want to emphasize that Europe kept open. We started and opened additional negotiations with Turkey and other countries, and also we started free trade negotiations with our transatlantic partners. No, no, this is the end of the press conference.